reiterated as almost like a standalone mode. Mm. Grand Theft Auto Online. It's worth noticing it's not Grand Theft Auto 5 Online. No. It's Grand Theft Auto Online. Now, I, I, I see this as a, effectively a sort of agnostic service announcement almost, where I think looking towards the future, I think Rockstar will be looking to build on the Grand Theft Auto Online brand. And this mm. is, again, what we've talked about on the show. I've talked about from interviews with Sam Hauser, where he's, ex he's expressed his interest in the sort of MMO PC model and I think this is Rockstar's baby steps and we've said this repeatedly into this world you know and I think this is the right thing it's the way the world's moving it's the way the next gen consoles are it's to do with this sort of always online connected universe we're going to get with games like Destiny there's going to be a persistent GTA universe and I think GTA 5 will be the first step into it okay so next question Dan says uh, and it's probably a good question to ask actually how much difference will there be between the PS3 and Xbox 360 versions of the game. Okay, Rockstar quite politically neutral as you'd expect, but they say players can expect the same great gameplay on both the PS3 and Xbox 360 platforms. They've been developed in tandem. This is like all of our games. Trust us, we're committed to making sure GTA 5 looks and runs great uh, as best as possible on both systems, regardless whether you pick it up for PS3 or 360. It says it's very political, isn't it? It says and we are excited for fans on both platforms to experience GTA 5 this September. We expect any visual differences to be completely negligible. I think basically it's all a preamble to the bit saying they'll look almost the same. Yeah. It's difficult for us to comment otherwise because we've only seen it on play PlayStation 3. Yeah, I, I would expect them to look incredibly similar. Now, one guy at the end, he says, I smell a delay because <laughs> he's suspecting that the game will be delayed. Uh, and Rockstar are quick to say, this is hugely reassuring, there's nothing to worry about, so we aren't quite sure what you're smelling. GTA 5 will be available for PS3 and Xbox 360 on September the 17th, reiterated, confirmed. Hey, there'll be some egg on the faces of 